Come on, let's give it up again for the CCSG At this time, we have our superintendent of education, Dr. Foster, come with the introduction of our theme and new staff members to the district. Good morning, King College. It is so great to have all of my friends here, new and old. We have a lot of new members to Teen College today. And first of all, I want to just kind of tell you a little bit about our theme for this year. So one of our core values is Teen College, every member of Teen College to work to make a difference or an impact for all of our kids. And remember, we talked about our bus drivers, our custodial, our student nutrition operators, all the way up to our teacher assistants, teachers, principals, district office staff, we all work for kids. So this year when we were thinking about what could our theme be, last year we had preparing every child today for tomorrow. That's our mission, that's our goal, that's what we're trying to do, but it takes every member of this team to accomplish that. So that is where we develop the goal or the idea that we are Teen College. The wonderful shirt that you have on was not my brain idea, my brain child, it was the Teacher Forum. The Teacher Forum is a group of, new, um, of our Teacher of the Year, we meet once a month, and they come to us, and they share with us things that are happening out in the schools. We share with them things that are happening at the district level, and we take that information, and we kind of try to develop some strategies to improve things in our schools. So this year, last year when we were meeting, one of the ideas that they came up with is said, when we have our back-to-school kickoff, it would be so nice if we were all in the same attire so that we can all show that we are a part of Team College. And so when we go out into the community today, we'll be all out there together so everybody will know that we work for the school district and we are committed to our mission of preparing every child today for tomorrow. So, we are Team College is our um, theme for this year. Now, we have new members of Team College and I had the opportunity to meet them um, last Wednesday. And they are a great group of people. We had a lot of them joining Team College this year. So Mr. Warren and the principals have been very busy um, hiring and bringing on some talent to our team. So I would like right now for every new member of Team College to please stand. Every member of Team College. <laughs> to our chant, and I introduced it in the process of, we are a football game. We're at the national championship. We're at Clemson versus South Carolina. Somehow we made it to the national championship. Where are my Clemson fans? going to be like in South Carolina and Clemson are playing seven to seven. What is that energy going to be like? That energy is not going to be like that. What is that energy going to be like in that? Okay, so new teachers, I'm going to start it off and you're going to join me. Ready? Team! Now let's take that same enthusiasm 
go on Monday morning when those young team policy numbers start coming to your door. Man, that's the team right there. At this time, we're going to be uh, featured with a video. And as this video plays, I want you to pay close attention. Uh, listen very attentively to scene number three. As scene number three is the view of the students that we serve here in Collison County. So please pay close attention to the entire video, but scene three especially, because these are the views of the students that we serve here in Collison County.
wait to go to school when I was little. Well, uh, I mean little like when I was younger, not little like now, that I've shrunk. I was so excited on my first day. I didn't need any alarm to wake me up. No way. I felt so big and so important and so full of wonderful ideas that I thought I would burst just like a balloon. School would be an adventure where I could do anything and everything, but something went wrong. As you can see, there are a lot of problems at my school. Some grown-ups say it's because kids just don't want to learn, but I know that's not true. Just look at Christopher. He's the kid on the next page. The same thing is happening to him that happened to me. Christopher has been getting smaller every day. He sits at his desk and he watches his teacher write on the board. He watches the letters and numbers being written and erased. Boring, he thinks. Boring, boring, boring. Christopher doesn't know of anything except how boring everything is. He is so bored he doesn't even notice he's shrinking. You know, Christopher is really smart, but his grades aren't that great. Weird, huh? He just shrunk too much, and now he's about to fall right through the cracks of the schoolroom floor. Hi, Christopher, I said. You've fallen through the cracks. Christopher was a little slow to answer. Huh? Yes, Christopher. Do I know you? Did you say something? Yes, I did say something, I replied. I watched your sneakers all morning. Your shoestrings glow in the dark. You look pretty bored in class, but now you're out of there. In answer to your question, you know me now. I'm Stella. I think he was trying to register my name in his memory when suddenly his eyes got big. Wait a minute. I am out of class? Christopher looked like he was about to scream with joy. Awesome! Yeah, it's awesome, all right, but not like you're thinking. After all, I've been here a while. Look around. Do you really want to be here? I sat back and watched Christopher take in the place, the gloomy walls, the silence that made huge echoes of shouts or crying, and the long, dark shadows, if they were really just shadows falling through the cracks, felt creepy and lonely. The other kids down here keep to themselves. That's why I made up my mind to make Christopher my friend before he got scared or mean or quit talking like the others. I see what you mean, Christopher admitted, looking around. He looked at all those dangling feet of the kids who were shrinking. The kids would end up falling through the cracks, just like Christopher and me. He looked back at the children in the lower grades and wondered why kindergarten was already waist deep on his first day of school. He looked ahead at the children in the upper grades and noticed that even some of the smart kids were beginning to slip through. He looked at all the kids who had already fallen. Then he looked at me. This place has some problems, he said. But going back where I just came from isn't the answer either. Look, I began, I've been here for a long time. I know what it's like here, and I also know that the school doesn't have to be boring. Christopher looked doubtful at this point. I mean it, and I think if we're willing to do a little exploring, we could find that there's more to school than sitting still and listening to a teacher go on and on. Maybe, said Christopher as he thought it over. Hey, why haven't you explored before now? I knew he would ask that. I was afraid to tell him. I thought he might laugh at me, but I had to be honest. I don't like being in the dark alone, and I don't know where exploring will lead us. Christopher was quiet, he thought it over. He looked around again. Finally, he looked over at me and said, I don't like shrinking or being bored. Let's explore. It wouldn't be easy, but making a friend help. I couldn't be sure, but I felt Christopher and I were beginning slowly to grow. As we moved along, it was dark, but in the distance, we could see the faintest of lights. There were noises, too, voices, but we couldn't quite make out the words and laughter that made us feel sad instead of happy. I almost stopped right before then and there. I think Christopher was afraid, too, but we had to keep going. We crawled toward the nearest light. You know, I expected it to get brighter as we got closer, but it didn't. It was a window covered with dirt and cobwebs. Gross, said Christopher as he tried to wipe a spot clean enough to see through. Christopher squeezed himself against one side so that I could see too. We were outside of the classroom and we didn't like what we saw. Here, or here, or here. We looked in other windows where more students were shrinking and the teachers weren't having much fun either. Christopher, I said once as we watched a group of students all staring at one blackboard, does this remind you of anything? I don't think so. Why, Christopher asked because it reminds me of television. All those kids are just watching. 
No one is doing anything. I always like to watch TV, but this was too much. Just watching eating TV is pretty boring. Christopher smiled at me. I think we are growing, Stella. I think you are right, Christopher. We were growing, too. When I first fell through the cracks, I thought the noises in the distance might be monsters. And I thought the lights beyond the shadows were raging fires. In other words, I thought the worst. But I was wrong. The monsters were fear and silence. The distant noises weren't so scary when we got closer. They were voices, students and teachers talking and planning together. We weren't used to so much talk in the classroom. Not talk behind the teacher's back, but kids talking about their work and sharing ideas. Christopher and I began to seek out the brightest and loudest windows. A good thing, too. We weren't so small anymore, and the brighter rooms had the biggest windows. Sometimes we couldn't believe it was a school. Stella, look at that class, Christopher pointed through a window, and it was amazing. I thought at first that it was art, that I didn't know what to think. What class is this, I asked Christopher. You know, I think it's history, he said, but I never thought it could look like so much fun. That wasn't the only one. What class is this, asked Christopher. Christopher, come over here, they're dancing. I had wandered to another window, another class, and we still couldn't believe it. I never thought I'd say this, but school isn't boring after all, Christopher was shaking his head as he spoke. If I were in there, I'm not sure what I would do first. Christopher, I don't see a single shrinking student over here. I was looking in the English class at this point. No kidding, he asked as he hurried over. No kidding. It seemed we saw millions of ways to do things, to learn things. We saw all kinds of possibilities and all kinds of people with new and exciting ideas. Everyone was working together. Some people were good with numbers, others were good with words, and still others were good with pictures. Hey Stella, something is happening. Christopher was right. The light was getting brighter and I felt different. I think we're growing, Christopher. I think you're right, Stella. And it was true. Christopher and I found a way out of the darkness. We were no longer on the outside and looking in. Christopher saw himself drawing and looking through a microscope, and he was back. And me? I taped an interview with my grandfather who was writing a historical narrative. I was back, too. I like school now, and so does Christopher. We're not just watchers anymore. No more thinking, not shrinking. This is where I live. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Robert.
Thank you.